Hey, Kevin. What are you playing with? Hey. Uh, this is the new AHP Alpha TIG 200X. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is the new model. You know, it's the new, uh, the next generation machine. Uh, they've made a nice, you know, a few nice little changes on it. You know, I, I think it's a much easier welder to, to get used to now. So, you know, if you look at the control panel and compare it to the previous model, sorry, I don't have one here anymore, uh, what you see is, well, it looks pretty darn similar. You know, they really haven't changed much here until you look really, really close. And you see that now the pulse time has a little percentage symbol by it. And if you come up here to pulse amps, you'll see that's a percentage now. So instead of a variable value, you know, like, you know, 1 to 10, it's just a percentage of the actual welding time. They have changed the display. So now it only reads the main amps. The starting amps and the ending amps are not displayed anymore. You just set them by the dial. The foot pedal still works the same? Oh, thank you. No, they changed the foot pedal. So they're still using that, you know, metal-ish uh, foot pedal with that backwards pedal on it. You know, instead of going this way, it goes this way. But what they've done is they've gotten rid of the amp set knob that's on the side of the old foot pedal. Now it's all done in the machine. You set your, set your max amps over here, you know, say 100 amps, and the pedal will now go from 0 to 100, and that's all. So you don't bump it with your foot. That's what I was always doing, was bumping it and knocking it out of adjustment. So, you know, big improvement there. And on the back of the machine, they've got the uh, power cable on one side, and they've got the gas line, or the inlet gas line on the other side, so they actually go around the bottle, rather than unlike some models where they come out of the middle of the machine and bump into the bottle itself. So, you know, it helps center the machine on the bottle behind it also. Uh, nice little machine. You know, they, they've improved the software a little bit. They've made it a little easier to set the panel up on it. Yeah, it's a nice, nice little machine. And so does it still run the same? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's still a 200 amp machine. Um, you know, it's still got the same, you know, like, like the uh, pulse frequency, you know, it is still at uh, 0.5 to 5 hertz. And, you know, the pulse, you know, the pulse time and the pulse amps, you know, just being a percentage of your actual welding time. But, yeah, it's all pretty much the same internally you know it still has all the same functions as the old machine they've just reworked the panel a little made it a little easier to understand you know a little easier to set and then the display just sets you know just shows one display just shows the main amps doesn't show anything else once you wrap your mind around that it's a lot easier it's easier than the other machine was how about the price that's the sad part price is going to go up uh, two to three hundred dollars is what I heard, but you know you need to talk to the office on that one. You know, so you know, call them, and uh, you know they can give you a better price and give you availability on it. The last I heard was they're going to ship any day now, quote unquote. So they should be hitting the market here you know, within the next couple of weeks. So fun little machine. You know, if you're looking for a you know, your your basic TIG welder, you know, a starter TIG. You know, it's got the stick welder built into it for all, you know, for the heavier metals. 110 and 220. It's a great little machine. I love this thing. So, I'm going to go ahead and put some gear on, and I'm going to get back to work. We'll see you next time.